Hi there. Finally, we get to take a look at a video that's about Dreamweaver. This is the first one that uh, I'll use to introduce you to the interface and the key elements of the Dreamweaver application. The purpose is really to give you a general information into the features and interface and the key elements because uh, when you first look at Dreamweaver as a novice, not having been introduced to it before, for example, it can be pretty overwhelming. There's a lot of different interface elements, a lot of different functionality, a lot of different choices that you can make. And uh, if you get too caught up in all those different options, you're going to end up getting lost. So uh, this particular video, the whole idea is to give you a quick look at just the uh, four key elements. And then we'll dive into each element in detail in subsequent videos. So the idea is to narrow down the range of what you're looking at um, and, and not get distracted by all the others. So one last thing before we look at the interface. Let me suggest that if uh, you have a large enough monitor, you can try to arrange your desktop so you can see this movie at the same time you've got Dreamweaver open. Then you can easily watch the video, stop it, explore Dreamweaver, and then go back to the movie and watch some more. So if it's at all possible for you to do that, I suggest you use your video controllers now to stop the video, then uh, arrange the uh, window so you can have easy access at least to Dreamweaver and the video at the same time. So I'll give you a little minute to do that and then we'll be right back at it. Okay, got it all arranged? Well, even if you don't, um, it doesn't matter. We can, you can work around it by stopping the video and then switching between the applications. Whatever works for you. So let's take a look now at the Dreamweaver interface. There are four key elements that you need to be aware of. Uh, the first one is here at the top. This is called the insert toolbar and uh, this is where you'll be able with single clicks to be able to um, insert uh, items into your uh, web the website you're developing or the individual page. Um, th this will will explore in more detail in a video of its own. Um, the other key another key element is the welcome screen which you see here in the middle of uh, the of the screen that I have and as you can see, there's lots of choices all over this, this window. And uh, the key thing for you to remember at this point in, the, in your learning the Dreamweaver is, uh, is you want to create something new. And we'll get into more detail in that uh, in subsequent videos. But uh, you want to create a new HTML window. And when you click on that, uh, the welcome menu goes away and you've got a, a whole blank window that you can work with. And we'll dive into detail on that in just a minute. The third key element for you to know of is over here on the right. And this is the styles panel. Actually, there are, there are up to nine different panels here. As you can see, there are tabs in each one of the different elements here. And uh, this one is this top third, roughly, is, is to, uh, oriented towards cascading style sheets and things you need to do to work with cascading styles. Uh, the middle section of it uh, works with uh, databases, which is something we're not even going to cover in this uh, class, so uh, you can pretty much ignore that one for now. And the third one is at the bottom, which is uh, where you can control the various assets in your website. And again, it has three different tabs, as you can see. Uh, you have files, and it has your directory structure in here. We'll get into that in more detail in another video. You have the various assets that are on your website, like pictures, videos, movies, um, music, etc., and then various code snippets. Again, uh, more detail in a later video. And then the last key element to look at is the uh, property inspector, which is at the bottom. And uh, the property inspector allows you to set the attributes of various HTML tags so that uh, you can get the kind of formatting that you want to have. Uh, when you create your web page. So those are the four key elements uh, of the Dreamweaver interface. At the top is the insert toolbar. Uh, the welcome screen uh, goes away whenever you create a new window into which you work. Uh, the panels on the right side and the property inspector at the bottom. Just one last thing however to tell you about and that is, is that you can radically change the interface of the uh, Dreamweaver look and feel fairly quickly by uh, choosing this pull-down menu uh, at the top of the screen. 
I have it set to classic. Yours may not default to that right away. So if it didn't do that, you may want to go to wherever it is on your, uh, in your window and choose the classic uh, mode for displaying all these windows. Um, for the initial uh, beginning learner, it's really best that you work in classic mode to get a, simplify the interface. As you get more proficient, however, with the, uh, with the application, you may choose to uh, set it to a different um, view. But for right now, make sure it's set on classic and we'll just go from there. So that's that for the uh, initial introduction to the Dreamweaver interface. Um, stay tuned for more videos in which we'll, drive, we'll dive deeper into each one of these elements so you can learn them in more detail. Until then, I'll see you later.